Hey everyone, it's JD Sajan with FortuneBuilders.com and CT Homes LLC, and welcome to another episode of FortuneBuilders.tv. That's right, and we're outdoors today. If you couldn't tell, we're not we're not in the studio. Dave and I do like to get out of the studio from time to time, and uh, once again, David Lupica always behind the camera, uh, with me again here. And we went on site today. We're in San Diego at a project and what I wanted to talk about specifically is uh, sizzle features and one of the biggest ones that any house can ever have and that's outdoor space and you don't really think of it as a sizzle feature but I'm going to talk about it in that context because we start to make the turn here going into summer full steam and buyers are coming out um, in the marketplace now. Uh, there's a lot of buyers and especially this time of year summertime they come out looking there's vacation going on they have more time and some of the things that buyers always want, no matter what time of year, but it's more, um, more valuable and it creates more emotion um, in this time of year, summertime, is outdoor living space. And it doesn't take a lot of outdoor living space to create a huge amount of emotion and a real strong sizzle feature which helps sell houses. And what outdoor living space does is it really creates emotion. And we're working on an outdoor living space here now, so I want to focus on a couple of things that you can do to create more um, emotion in your outdoor space. And I'm standing in front of one now. And what I have here is actually a fire pit. Okay, now in San Diego, it's not uncommon for a house to have a fire pit in it. But think about it in your own market. If you could spend a couple of extra dollars, literally, you know, five to six hundred dollars, depending on the size and how you build it, you can create a significant emotional connection with your buyer and their property. Now, are they going to use it year round in the Northeast? Of course not. But imagine how, how much more um, emotion that would create. So fire pits are big and you're talking about framing and sometimes you can even cast them out of concrete and I'll give you guys a resource and a cool website to check out here in a moment. But So fire pits are big and all you have to do really is get a gas line to the location and then you have to build the structure. Uh, you can cast that out of concrete as I mentioned. You can also do it out of block. Okay, uh, brick, cinder block, a lot of different materials. You can wrap it in stucco. You can really get carried away and you can fill it the inside very common with like glass, um, glass rock, which is what this one has. So, and what that does is it creates an environment within a backyard that someone can see themselves hanging out. It, it kind of brings everyone together to this space. The other thing that I think is really valuable is uh, grass. Now, you can think of just grass as grass and that's nothing to need, need to be talked about there. But, you know, that does a couple of things. It, it creates um, an environment where people can see their kids playing. And owning a home is the American dream. And the American dream is watching your children play in the backyard. Whether you have kids or not at that time, that's sort of what people, that's what people um, attach to owning a home is the American dream and the things that go with that. So. You know, this is a big yard, which is cool. Not every house is going to have this big of a yard, but things like that, um, creating a, a place for people like a, people to see their kids playing, basically, is what we're talking about. And you've got landscape, which consists of like hardscape, which is concrete and wood, for example, and then, um, you know, softscape or landscape, which is like grass and plants. And you've got to have a mixture of both. The other thing that is cool to do outside, outdoor showers, which we've got here. And it's so easy to do an outdoor shower in, in, in a home, whether depending on what part of the country you're in, and do a little spot where you can rinse off. It doesn't matter if you're near the ocean or not. I mean, it's a cool feature to have. It's a place where if kids are playing in their backyard and they get dirty, the parents can wash them off. And all you have to do is uh, tie into some water a water supply and, and get a drain going. And it can be as simple as r building a raised platform for the water to filter through down into the ground. Okay, you can do it that way. So that's another big emotional hook that you can put in a backyard uh, living space. Now let's look at one that I don't think people take enough advantage of, and that's entertaining space, like true entertaining space in your backyard. Now this is a pretty monster area here. It's a, a barbecue station is what it is. Now this is a higher end home and we're going big on this, so don't look at this and say this is what you have to build to help sell your houses. Look at it and say, okay, what could I do in my backyard that would add um, value? And very simply, you could put a gas line in a spot and create an actual physical spot in the backyard for someone to wire or to, to 
put in a barbecue, whether it's a freestanding one or a built-in one like this is. But what that does is it creates, um, it creates an environment, it creates a unique area in, the, in your backyard where people can see themselves entertaining. And when people can see themselves doing things in the house that you're selling, they're sold. Right? You want people to see their, their children playing in the backyard, uh, barbecuing in the summer in a barbecue station, rinsing off in the outdoor shower after their kids get done um, or home from school, uh, hanging around the fire pit. You want people to actually physically see themselves and feel like they're living in the house. And things like showers, fire pits, wood deck, um, barbecues allow us to do that. Now, here we're going big and we're doing a, a big grill and we're actually doing a concrete countertop. And concrete's cool because you can do a lot of things with it. And I'll actually do a video when we're done with this to show you how it finishes up. But think about it, concrete's outside all the time. It's, it's on walkways, they, they make roads out of it. So it's made to be outside. So it actually is a real durable material to put on top. You can color it anything you want and you can make anything out of it. You could build a fire pit out of concrete too. If you want to check out a cool website, go to dccustomconcrete.com. Uh, they're actually a local San Diego concrete fabricator and they're doing this countertop. So if you're local to San Diego, go to dccustomconcrete.com and get more information about how to work with them. And if you're not in San Diego, go check it out because they have a cool gallery on there that'll give you different ideas. And you can do concrete for uh, outdoor sinks or indoor sinks, indoor countertops. You can put it anywhere, in the bathroom, inside a home, in the kitchen countertop. And it adds a, a texture that people don't normally see. And in the day, it's unique and people um, will get attached to it because it's something they don't see everywhere. Where. So those are some things I wanted to point out, especially this time of year as we're getting into summer. Outdoor living space, it rules, and it'll help sell your houses a lot faster. So what we're gonna do now is our deal or no deal section. Deal or no deal. All right, so in our deal or no deal section, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about uh, doing something unique in your backyard or your outdoor living space or not. And 100% of the time, it's an absolute deal to do one or two small things. For example, as simple as stubbing out a gas line for someone to hardwire or hard pipe into for their, their barbecue, whether they want to do a stationary one or a, remov a movable one. So I always recommend and we always do in all of our projects one or two um, things that don't need to be in the backyard but you do them because they create value and that's the definition of a sizzle feature. They create emotion and they help people uh, bond with the house. All right, so our last section is, of course, our quote of the week. Quote of the week. All right, so in our quote of the week today, I'm going to use one of my own. Actually, I've never done that before. Uh, the quote this week is, uh, sizzle features sell houses. I want you to write that down and remember it. Sizzle features sell houses, J.D. Asagent. What a sizzle feature is, is a small many times small things, sometimes bigger things that don't need to be in a house but you do them because they're uh, cost effective and at the end of the day they create um, an emotional attachment with your buyers and that's what helps sell properties. I want to remind everyone to go to the uh, YouTube channel for fortunemillers.tv and subscribe and I also want to encourage you to, to put comments into um, below the videos on what you liked, what you learned, what you want to hear more about. Go to the suggest a show section of this website Keep uh, interacting with us because that's what fuels us to do new shows. Uh, I want to thank Dave again for being behind the camera. Dave, thank you. He's nodding. Um, and I'll, we'll, um, we got some more shows coming up about outdoor living space. I'll do a video on this project when it's done. I'll see you on the next show.